How does a real research university function? The scientists who change our perception of the world every day are at its centre. They pass on their knowledge to students in the laboratories, which are equipped with the latest technological advancements, and they achieve outstanding results at R&D organisations alongside their students. All this takes place in a unique atmosphere of Akadem Gorodok, a place where science coexists with nature. The combination of these components allows them to create, to create here at Novosibirsk State University, the knowledge which can address the key challenges for humanity. Traditionally, NSU is one of the leaders in the field of physical sciences. According to Global QS and the Times Higher Education Rankings, the university is among the top 100 best universities in the world in physics. 19 groups of NSU scientists conduct important basic research in international collaborations, and the results of their work are being used all over the world. Researchers from the new physics center have developed low background detectors with the ultimate insensitivity for searching out dark matter that makes up most of our universe. Scientists from the Novosibirsk State University Atmospheric Division created the data measuring systems which are now installed on all satellites of the GLONASS M series. Our students in the physics department take part in the development of such equipment. While astrophysicists study galaxies and black holes, geologists in NSU answer the questions about our planet. They have developed a model that allows reconstruction of the history of the continental drift. Thus, for example, obtained data replenishes the knowledge about history and the structure of the continental shelf in the Arctic. Our teachers and students carry out their work on Samoilevsky Island research station. Then they analyze the samples applying the paleomagnetic method using the unique equipment in the university laboratories. Researchers at the NSU Laser Physics Division create fiber optic lasers and new communication lines with high bandwidth having no equal today in width and line stability. These technologies will help to increase the speed of data transmission in telecommunication networks and will be used in medicine and industry. The Joint Research Laboratory of Novosibirsk State University and the Institute of Nuclear Physics, Siberian branch of the Russian Academy of Science, is working on breakthrough technology in the field of cancer treatment. In the near future, boron neutron capture therapy will give new hope to patients who are now considered incurable. This technology allows efficient, non-invasive treatment to destroy malignant brain tumors. Novosibirsk science offers many other ways to deal with one of the most threatening diseases of the 21st century. Researchers from the NSU Laboratory of Microbiology and Virology work on the creation of oncolytic viruses. Such viruses can detect cancer cells and destroy them. This technology has the potential to become the basis for an efficient cancer drug. Depression is another disease which is becoming one of the major challenges of the 21st century. Our scientists are developing new biologically active compounds that can be used to create effective drugs to treat the diseases of the human nervous system. In the laboratory of synthesis and new materials, scientists are working to create environmentally friendly resource-saving technologies in the oil and gas industry. The development of catalysts for extracting liquid fuel from cheap and affordable methane is just one of the laboratory's successful projects. And all this makes up just a small part of what is happening in the academic life of our university. Fundamental real science at Novosibirsk State University includes education, technology, and a never-ending search. Here we define and create the global scientific agenda. Here the flawless ideas are born and perfectly implemented. What is the reason for our success? We love asking questions of nature and finding the answers to these questions in our laboratories.